3D Event Designer's Table Wizard, Guest List, and Seating Chart enables event professionals and venues to create extremely realistic 2D and 3D visuals for clients in minutes. The Table Wizard, Guest List, and Seating Chart are all located on the left in the second tab you see on your screen. We are going to start by launching the Table Wizard. As you'll see, you can customize your table with the features on the left and view what the table looks like on the right. You can view your changes as you go either in the 2D view or switch to the 3D view. First, you start by defining your table type. You can select from tables with linens or tables without linens. For the tables with linens, once you find the table that suits what you are looking to do, simply go ahead and add it. From here, you can further customize the table itself. Click on the table cloth and you can either select a specific color or you can go ahead and select a specific linen type. Next, you can define your table number or you can define the table numbers at a later point in time using our auto layout feature. You will, however, want to define the number of seats at a table. You can even select for chairs to be around only half of the table by clicking the sliding bar to the right. Down below, you'll see the start of our seating chart. We will go ahead and come back to this at the end once we have filled our entire floor plan with all the tables. Next, you will want to define your chairs. Go ahead and scroll through and see the options, or you can go ahead and type into the search bar at the top. With the chairs, you can of course change the different colors on the chair, such as the frame and the cushion, by sliding the change color bar to the right. You can, of course, always change dimensions if needed. Next, you have the option of doing place settings. This is completely optional if you do not want it to show for your desired table setup, especially if it is a classroom type setup, just slide the hide show bar to the left to hide the plate. You can also change the plate for example, if you'd like to start with a charger, and you can start adding additional plates on top simply by clicking the Add Extra Plate button. For the plates themselves, to stack them on top of each other or to stack a plate on top of a charger, you'll simply want to raise the distance from it sitting on the table to sitting on top of the charger itself. Next, you have the option of adding utensils or napkins, or you can bypass any of these. Select the side that you want the utensil to display on, and you can also readjust its position if you'd like it closer or tighter to the plate and charger. Next, you can add any type of glasses that you so choose. Once again, select if it belongs on the left side of the plate or the right side of the plate. And you can further adjust its positioning. You can even add multiple glasses by clicking Add Glass. Lastly, you can go ahead and add any centerpieces if desired. Simply click on the final centerpiece tab, and then click on the Add Decoration button. 
you do have the option of adding multiple centerpieces to the table simply by clicking the Add Decoration button once again. As you will see, each centerpiece starts by being placed in the center of the table. To adjust it, simply adjust the positioning of each centerpiece. Once you are finished with your table setup, you can simply insert the single table or you can use our all new auto layout feature. The auto layout feature allows you to select your layout configuration from a variety of different configurations. Once you select your layout configuration, you can then specify the number of tables you would like in each row. Furthermore, you can then select the spacing between the tables. Again, the spacing goes from table to table, not from the back of the chair to the back of a chair. Once you have entered your spacing, simply hit the Apply button. Your tables will now be placed in the floor plan and you can move them to the desired location. You can also view any of the table numbers in the 3D Walk or the 3D Global view simply by sliding the Show Table Numbers button to the right. As you will see, the table wizard automatically assigns table numbers to each table. You can, of course, override any of the table numbers by simply clicking on the table and then over on the right-hand side in the table number overwriting it. Now, if you need to make modifications to individual tables, it is very simple to do. Simply click on the table, and once you have clicked on it, as you will see, it will be highlighted in green. Go over to that table properties window and start making adjustments such as you can add more or less seats to a table. You can also make changes to all of the tables at the same time by simply clicking on a table, making your adjustment, such as swapping out the table linen for a new one, and then hitting the apply to all tables so that it doesn't override changes you made to individual tables such as adding or removing chairs, simply slide the check uncheck all button to the left. Then simply check which change you'd like to apply to all of the tables. Adding a guest list is easy. Over on the left hand side, just under the launch table wizard button, you'll see edit guest list. Simply click on that button and you can either add individual guests themselves or you can download the 3D Event Designer Excel template. You can fill out the 3D Event Designer guest list template on your own or you can send it to a client for them to fill out and send back to you. On the first tab of the guest list template, you will see the instructions on how to use it. On the second tab, titled Guest List, this is where you'll put the information for each of the guests that are invited to the event. All that is needed per row is simply a name. The other fields are entirely optional. Once the guest list Excel file template has been filled out, you can of course go ahead and upload it to the software by clicking the upload button right here. If you do not have a guest list Excel file to upload, you can easily add each guest individually. You can either add it, once again, from the Edit Guest List section by clicking Add Guest, or you can hop on down to the location where the seating chart is located and start adding each individual guest. Of course, the entree selection is optional. As you will see, the guests have started to be added. You can always click on any guest and drag them to a different table as well. Where you will see each guest located is in the 2D plan view. Adding guest lists, as you can see, are just as simple as a few clicks of a button. We hope you've enjoyed our new features of our table wizard, guest list, and seating chart, including our new table linens and our auto layout. 
we look forward to continuing to service all of your floor plan needs.